Okay, just a update on a simple repeater build. Uh, it's going to get pretty warm, therefore we've mounted a fan under the transmitter. But we don't want this fan running all the time. Um, there's no keying circuit that we can really take out of this radio uh, to turn a fan on and off. So we're going to design a heat temperature sensing uh, circuit to turn a fan on and off. As you can see, the radios have, you know, a heat sink, a nice heat sink under them. I wish this heat sink was on top of the radio instead of on the bottom of the radio because heat rises. But what we're going to do, we're going to mount a little uh, thermistor. We're going to mount a little thermistor somewhere right on the heat sink, probably tape it on. And uh, we'll use that to control a fan. And as the heat comes up, the fan will speed up. So let's talk about what we need to do here. Uh, we're going to need uh, some thermistors. Here's a package of thermistors I bought uh, off eBay, uh, 10,000 ohm. I think I got like 20 or 30 uh, varistors here for like $3. They're very cheap. And you'll need, um, you'll need a, a in-channel MOSFET, some type of in-channel MOSFET. And this is a uh, MRF 540, but just about any in-channel MOSFET will work uh, for you. That's about all we need, other than, other than uh, maybe a variable potentiometer. Let me show you the circuit we built up. Here's the MOSFET right here. There's our variable uh, resistor. And that's about it. I added a fuse here just to protect uh, the power supply in case something gets wrong. But it doesn't have very many parts at all in it. So if you take your, if you take your in-channel... Take your in-channel uh, MOSFET, and uh, this will be the source. Let's see. We're going to ground the source, and this is the drain, and this will be the gate. Okay. So uh, on the gate, we need to put our uh, 50,000 ohm resistor to ground. And we will fix it where we can vary it like that. So that's a 50K. And uh, our fan, let's just take a fan, put it right here. See if I can draw a little fan right here. How do you like it for fan blades? Does that look like a fan? Okay, so we come out the fan, we go to plus 12 volt. And we're going to come out of this and go to the drain. Now, we need our uh, thermistor in there. So, our thermistor is just a variable resistor by heat. And uh, we're, going to, we're going to do this. We're going to hook a thermistor. Uh, I'm not sure the symbol for thermistor. We'll do this. Like that. And that's a 10K uh, variable thermistor right there. So, as this heats up, as this heats up, it will turn on this uh, MOSFET. This MOSFET will then uh, apply voltage to uh, to the fan here. And uh, when you have just a uh, 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 low temperature, the fan will run low. As the temperature gets higher and higher, the fan speed will, you know, get higher and higher. Let me show you the circuit we've got here. Again, <laughs> about three parts. Um, hey, I did add a capacitor. I did, it's, this is optional. I added a capacitor across uh, across here two to, two to five uh, uh, microfarad will do uh, that keeps the fan from kind of fluttering at low speed so let's look and see what we got here there's our variable resistor uh, there's that capacitor uh, and hey here's our thermistor right here uh, if you can see it it's only got it on a long wire here this wire goes up to this wire goes up to the uh, board here. So we got our thermistor here. We got our fan. We got our um, 50k pot right here, and this is our MOSFET antenna MOSFET right here. Now, this looks a little funny. This doesn't look like the the MOSFET I showed you. Here's the MOSFET I showed you. But uh, that's a heat sink. 
So that's actually just a heat sink that um, that, that MOSFET is is inside. So you can you can see uh, it just uh, helps to help it keep it cooler. You might get by without it. I don't know. It depends on what, how much your fan draws. Okay, we've got we've got our uh, lab supply turned on, 12 volts. We got it connected up to the board. We got our fan connected, and here's our uh, here, here's our uh, thermistor. I'm going to put just body heat on the thermistor, and let's see if the fan comes on. Here we go. I'm putting some body heat on the thermistor. It should be heating up. There, okay. It's wanting to. It's wanting to go. All right, stop. Okay, you can see my body temperature is 98 degrees. That's really not high enough. So let's do this. Let's adjust the temperature. Let's adjust the temperature a little bit. So you do that by just this pot right here. We're going to reduce. We're going to reduce the resistance a little bit. Right here in this pot, the fan came on. Let's see. I'm going to turn it to where the fan turns off. There we go. Okay, the fan is off right there. Now I bet you if we put our heat, body heat on this thermistor, uh, the fan will come on. Let's see. There we go. So body heat turned it on. Body heat's gone away. And the fans should start slowing down. This will eventually going to go off. So... I've got to set. I've got to set to uh, actually come on at about 98 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. So, you know, uh, for the radio there, we'll probably want to crank it up to like 120, 130 degrees. But let me do this again. I'm gonna just touch this. See if, see if one side will get it warm enough to come on. I'm not putting much heat into it. Oh, look at there. Just uh, temperature. Whoop, temperature from my finger. Uh, is enough to uh, trigger it and get it on. Okay, take the heat away. Taking the heat away. And it should stop. And like I mentioned, uh, low heat, the fan will run slow. As the heat increases, the speed of the fan will increase. So uh, that's kind of it. That's kind of it right there. Uh, this is our uh, fan control circuit with a mister. And... Um, Hey, it's going to work out really well for us, I think. Guys, uh, we have a great Facebook group. It's called uh, W5KUB. Let me see, W5KUB. And um, it's about ham radio, shortwave. The GMRS repeater is a project that we're doing on the show. We uh, do electronic stuff. Um, Anything electronics, shortwave, ham radio. So we've got over 14,000 people in that group. Come in here and ask questions, join us, have fun. Just go to uh, Facebook to uh, W5KUB, search for W5KUB, and uh, we'll uh, we'll put you put you in there as a member. Also, hey, at the end of this video, you're going to see just a short introduction to our show. We have a weekly ham radio shortwave show, which is on our video channel. W5K is uh, W5KUB.com. If you go to W5KUB.com, you will see our video show on Tuesday nights. We also have a channel on uh, YouTube, YouTube slash W5KUB. So uh, pl please join that and uh, would love to have you in there. I hope, uh, hope all this helps you, man. And uh, we will talk to you later.